the the first time I came across Bearded Builders um, was actually an Instagram post. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was it was a video that you did for a giveaway. And you, mm -hmm. you kind of were playing several different characters. You probably know the <laughs> video I'm talking about. And yeah, yeah. it just, I, it caught my attention mm -hmm. immediately as just something fresh and unique. And um, <laughs> even, even as, as silly as it might've been, I was, I, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta investigate this more as a branding and marketing person. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I came across your, your Instagram account and I think it was maybe Kelly. Was that yeah. the, yeah, yeah Kelly runs our Instagram. Account. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we connected and um, so it's just great to, again, like I said, for me, this is selfishly just an opportunity to talk to interesting people and yeah. um, kind of pick their brain a little bit and connect with other people in the in industry. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, love appreciate that. You coming uh, up. Yeah, no, I love, I appreciate the opportunity. I mean, it's cool because you're, that's what you do, right? You do like the marketing branding. That's your yep. deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fun to talk this stuff. I mean, it's weird how, you know, we all have like our different, uh, you know, strengths and whatever, or different like just loves or passions or like abilities. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I started this business. I knew how to do like the work and, a, a, and a branding, I guess, but, um, but I didn't know anything about running a business you know, like mm -hmm. still don't, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, like we need other people to like help. And, um, which I think is like my favorite thing in this industry. Um, and, and the, the team here is like the collaboration, you know, that's mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the fun of it all. Um, yeah, it's, a uh, it's cool to talk to other people in the industry and see what's going on, see what they're doing and how they're doing things better. Cause there's, like uh there's just so many ways to innovate and do things and so much opportunity with that which is fun yeah right yeah it's a fun time it's a fun time to be a business owner i'm sure and um just a great a lot of opportunity what talking about starting the company what um can you give me some background on maybe you know a summary of how that came to be you know where were you what what led to the yeah, desire yeah. to start up a building company <laughs> yeah um yeah oh, okay so uh we were from maryland and now we're in omaha nebraska we moved my wife uh, and kids and i moved here uh oh god i think eight years ago yeah eight years ago um and we started the business uh, roughly seven years ago um and it was not out of a desire to own a construction company um honestly uh, like i knew my dad has done remodeling his whole life and so me and my brothers all grew up doing remodeling because we had to <laughs> mm -hmm. but i like i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life but i knew the one thing i didn't want to do was construction mm -hmm. so here we are yeah, yeah. <laughs> funny how that works <laughs> yeah uh yeah i mean i when we moved here, I was working for another guy and then um, started to pick up like my own side of work and he, his work was slowing down and eventually like just started this out of necessity uh, and needing to pay bills and feed the family kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. That's honestly how it started. Um, and it kind of, once we branded it and uh, started because we didn't know any, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have any contacts or like connections in the industry, which was really a challenge I didn't uh, think through. But I knew like I wanted to have a company, or I knew I needed really to be a company that stood out and wasn't just like a another remodeling company in town. Um, I needed to be different, and uh. Yeah, it seemed like a good fit. So we, <clears throat> my wife actually came up with the name Bearded Builders, but she like said it as a joke. And I was like, that's brilliant. You know, that's brilliant. <laughs> um, that's awesome. So yeah, which she's not thrilled with because, uh, you know, she hasn't seen my face in forever and she can't. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So um, 
yeah, and with that, uh, it, it it just kind of took off and became a thing, and uh, it's been a, a wild, wild fun and awful and wonderful ride, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's amazing. Um, so before this, before you were when you were in Maryland, were you working on remodels out there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this is the industry that I've you know been in. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with my dad uh for a number of years like eight years i think before moving out here mm -hmm. um yeah and we were just doing remodeling and what part what part yeah of uh in baltimore or towson okay uh, i lived in hyattsville for two years oh uh, yeah yeah right on. i was out yeah. there i'm from minnesota originally but okay um, took a job out there for a couple of years 20 kind of like 2017 no 2015 to 2018 okay okay yeah, enjoyed it out Very there. Cool. Got to hang out yeah. in DC a lot and yeah, that's the museum. Cool. So yeah, uh, cool, 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 cool. Um, so you started this company. Uh, I have to ask too. It I know this yeah. is probably like the cliche cheesy question, but do you have yeah. to have a beard to work for the bearded builders? That is the number one question we get asked all the time. There's a lot of different answers, but. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. we're we're equal opportunity, you know, yeah. employer. <laughs> but yeah, I have um, noticed there's beards around. There are. Yeah. Everyone beards. does have a beard, except the the women who work here. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, so it's worked out so thus far pretty. It's, it's yeah, it's been good. It's been <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been good. Um, I think, you know, kind of like you said with you guys doing the podcast to kind of give people an opportunity to meet who they're hiring you know who's going to be in their house um and in their home and uh all that like we've we did a lot of that uh and it's you know it seemed to kind of connect um just letting our team be who they are and kind of showing it we do it more of in a goofy way typically but mm -hmm. um but it, it has been good because it, it seems to allow uh, potential clients to, you know, connect with us and like see who we are and be like, yeah, I would like these guys. I would like working with them because um, it is like it's a it's a usually it's a relationship and it's a long term relationship. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you got to you got to get along. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah, those, um, projects, those projects are long and they can be up and down yeah. yeah yeah oh my gosh yeah it's a um it's a relationship that is often tested you know? yeah so yeah you gotta um gotta connect so uh, that's helped and i think it's helped actually bring clients to us who do fit with us mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. um it's helped us get the kind of clients that we do really work well with and really enjoy our relationship with. And that's awesome. Like that's yeah. been super cool. Well, um, so, you, yeah. on your website, it says, um, all right, I, uh, part that stuck out to me was that you guys do things right. You don't cut mm -hmm. costs, you don't take shortcuts. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. that's what you're looking for, then we might be the wrong company for you. And mm -hmm. I, that stuck out to me because it, um, as, uh, as much as it makes sense, I think it takes a lot of confidence to be able to tell somebody you, you might not be for us, or we might not be for you. Mm. I feel mm. like it's more of a tendency, but for people to default to, we want to work with anybody and anybody we can do it at any price we can do it. At, you know, mm. we're for everybody. Yeah. Right? And, um, yeah. that's something our company, I know JNRS, we've really been transitioning over the last year to trying to have that type of confidence and to identify mm -hmm. even identify who it is we want to work for, for or with yeah and, um, <clears throat> so is that something that for you like mm -hmm. has been just a an instinct from day one or is that something you've had to learn the hard way or kind of develop <laughs> as you go or yeah i mean yeah i i i don't know i i think we've uh 
we've learned through time like who our clients are and like who we connect with and work well with um but it's been i mean it's been a lot of like tough and expensive lessons you know um but i i think a lot of it does come down to like your branding and messaging and what you're putting out there because it, it seems like what you put out there is kind of for the most part you know what you get back um so it does seem to benefit us and really our clients and everybody like the more the more we can communicate like who we really are and what we're really about um like that that seems to draw the people who are kind of about the same things you know yeah. and that's when you know beautiful music happens mm -hmm. um but <clears throat> i it, yeah and it's not that like in that messaging that you brought up it's, we're not saying like we do it perfectly it's just we're we're gonna make mistakes uh just like everybody but we're committed to you know doing right by you and um doing it right so it's <clears throat> it it uh it is a confidence but i think it's more of a uh just resting maybe in who you are mm -hmm. um finding out who you are and uh what you're about and then communicating that it seems yeah. to draw those the, the right kind of people back it, the same is true with like uh finding again like the same is true with hiring you know yeah um it seems to be more about like uh why are you like why do you want this job and if they're <clears throat> you know they might have the skill set and uh experience and all that and the beard um <laughs> but if they're you know not the right fit like that's gonna hurt you in the long run um so it's even like just been reminded recently as we've been trying to like hire more but haven't been able to like we, we need to revisit our messaging there and kind of identify more who we are in that message and then hopefully mm -hmm. theoretically that attracts more of who we are yeah and builds that team yeah 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 i think that's yeah from a branding standpoint just as the you know guy who does the marketing and the branding i think that is just the the biggest difference um between companies who understand the difference between marketing and sales mm. and then and then building a brand like obviously they, mm. they overlap but um you know especially mm. for people in the trades like i mean that's hard for any company right. and for people in the trades in an industry that is traditionally um i'd say a little more slow moving when it comes to <laughs> that element yeah oh, uh, yeah for various reasons good right. you know for better or worse um but it's it's something that um you're seeing more of but it's still not you know i would say it's still not the norm mm -hmm. um how have you guys seen that i mean beyond these relationships was super important um yeah. as it have you seen any other benefits to that approach of just kind of like being yourself and creating a brand around that um you know mm -hmm. how have you seen it impact your business or op maybe open doors that you didn't expect might be opened yeah i mean well i didn't expect to do this you know <laughs> right be a podcast interview that's cool yeah um yeah i mean it's you know we're uh, it seems like everyone's busy you know with new work um uh i i think it allows i think it's allowed the the culture here to uh bloom so i don't know it's terrible but you know what i mean like it's it's given room for everyone else to be themselves um which i think i mean i think is critical for, for a healthy team um and uh yeah i mean it, it's a uh, yeah i don't know i guess i don't have much of an answer to yeah that what how many people do you have in house there like how what what parts of the process do you have in house? And then how much mm -hmm. are you sort of outsourcing yeah. contracting? Yeah, there's 12 of us um, on the team. And uh, we have like five in the office and seven in the field right now. Um, 
we do most of the field work, uh, but we do sub out like plumbing, electrical, and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in the office, we have two designers um, that uh, Trina and Jamie that design everything. Um, you know, do all the mm -hmm. computer stuff, and uh, it's hugely important. But you know, I don't I have no idea how to do it. But awesome that people do. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so they do that and all the selections and things. And then um, Tom's our, our vice president in the office who's helped, he's a new addition um, and but helping with all the operations and all that stuff, which is mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's how we, we uh, you have any advice on finding good designers? We, uh, <laughs> we've, we have um, a very talented designer on staff. Mm -hmm. We lost two of our lead designers mm -hmm. in a matter of a month um mm. just before opening up our new showroom <laughs> our new design oh. showroom so Dang. it's we're having a hard time mm -hmm. it might just be a local thing here in duluth um but finding like kitchen and bath designers yeah like it's um, it, yeah it's hard i mean it it seems to be just as hard to like finding people to work in the field now you know it's slim pickings that's for sure um i yeah the, that, uh, that's tough the is designer, that because uh, is that uh do you think that has anything to do with the generational shortage like the younger you know oh yeah older generation mm -hmm. moving on not as many yeah. younger skilled tradesmen yeah oh yeah yeah i mean we've like as a society for the most part i've like crapped on the trades for a long time you know and uh and blue collar work and uh and i've made it all about you know college and white collar jobs i don't know um yeah. so like it just as a society it's been crapped on you know and uh, it's not attractive to people because of that and the like connotations and stuff um yeah because you have to work and get dirty and sweaty and mm -hmm. you know people think that that's not cool yeah so so yeah i mean there's a whole yeah there's a uh a definite shortage and it's only getting harder and harder which means like everyone's prices are just gonna go up and up and up mm -hmm. um which sucks for everybody <laughs> like everybody loses yeah um yeah i mean we, we've we've got to you know we've got to help this industry i i think in like our like big big dreams like we we want to help we want to help make the industry like sexy again you know because mm -hmm. it's uh it's a good job and it's only going to get better to like work in this industry. Yeah. Cause as you know, like we're slow to adapt and we're slow to change and we're still stuck in a lot of old ways, but there's a lot that's happening. Obviously technology is changing a lot yeah. um, uh, for this industry and improving things. So it, it's only going to get better and better. Um, and your, your uh, income should only, you know, mm -hmm. go up. Mm -hmm. Um yeah so we've got to attract people to it yeah um, i imagine the part of part of your branding is i mean i would think if you haven't already started to see it is is attractive even for myself as someone mm. who's never been a builder it it looks like fun to work there right. it looks like right, right. a creative you know uh fulfilling career you know and mm. Um, mm. and so i gotta imagine that yeah just even by just existing and continuing to build the best company you can. And I think we feel a similar right. sort of calling and, um, you know, that part of this whole branding and, and, you know, creating better processes and, and innovating, um, that, mm -hmm. that will be a part of that and hopefully help that. And yeah, you yeah. do start to see it happening. Um, yeah. So it is exciting to be a part of that. What, what for you guys internally, you know, the name of the podcast is the innovative builder and, yeah. So generally, you know, that's kind of the, the theme is, you know, people who are yeah. innovating, trying to move the industry forward. What, what are you guys doing internally, even just practically with, you know, technology or systems mm -hmm. or, you know, enhancing the customer experience? What kind of things are you guys mm -hmm. doing and implementing on that front? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've probably got like a loaded answer, but I mean, we're we're always trying to, you know, find ways to get better. Um, and there's so many ways to get better. 
uh, which is unfortunate, unfortunate, I guess. Um, yeah, right now, so we just like switched to builder trend and using like the, the project management, which, you know, like I, is a necessary and good thing that will be wonderful, but like the process of transitioning into it is painful yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah. And learning it and all that stuff, oh, so mm -hmm. hard. But, um, but you know, that's good and it's getting better and better. Um, yeah, there's a lot, I mean, we we want to, uh, there's lots of thoughts. There's um, a lot that we want to do that we're, we're, we haven't, haven't done yet, um, but we wanna make this and believe we can, like just even like rethinking like business and business structure and what it means to be a business or a place of business and a team. And so uh, trying to, rethink a lot of things with that um we've been exploring different ideas and concepts with like business structure i uh, personally like love uh, or i'm very attracted to the uh, uh different models of like employee ownership uh, companies um and, and i i there's lots of other cool stuff and yeah. uh, cool stuff happening but it, there does seem to be this uh uh, change happening in American business of uh, things aren't like always going to be the same. Like it's changing to more of like a uh, focus on the, the, the people, you know, mm -hmm. and less on the, the profit or bottom line. Obviously, a business still needs to make money to stay yeah. in business, but um, and I, I love that. And it just seems like that's the direction, like everything's going to go which is wonderful i think but um so even just rethinking stuff here and how we can better support each other and make a, a, a team or a place where it's uh just a, a supportive place to work an encouraging place to work a place where you can have a career and a secure future and even uh control in that and control and like how much money you make and you know all that kind of stuff yeah um and there's, you know, hopefully with that, we can do some of these things well. And there's lots of other companies and, you know, they're doing things like this uh, really well. And, you know, hopefully these kinds of things can help attract people, you know, back into the trades and, yeah, you know, make a place that's like, if you're a craftsman or a designer, like, why wouldn't you want to work here? You know, you're doing good for yourself and each other, obviously also our clients. There's a lot that we want to do with like getting more involved and giving back to the community. Um, so yeah, there's just so much yeah. room for cool, fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You it know? sounds like you guys are going through some of those growing pains of, uh, yeah, just transitioning yeah. into softwares and it's better now when you're, you know, at 10 or 12 employees than, you know, down yeah. the road, obviously. And, um, yeah, yeah, we, we've been experiencing similar things. Um, We've been on co-construct for a while, but similar mm -hmm. kind of. Pro I think oh, yeah. they're even owned by the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah now they're in. Yeah. Um, and uh, in our ownership, they're just man. It's like been so impressive for me coming from the outside. You know, for 25 years they were a family-owned sort of small business. Mm -hmm. You know, 10 employees maybe. Um, right. And uh, and then one of the sons came into ownership, and he was a young. He's a young guy, and. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of vision for just growing and scaling and yeah great yeah just yeah, a lot yeah. of the a lot of the same things you're saying just create yeah. a place where people can have a career like i think that's really significant like um right. that, even that word career and and the idea of coming into a construction company and um and growing and um and we yeah so it I, I, I know we can relate to that big time. And for me, yeah. even as a marketing professional, I have no construction background to be able to come into right. a company and contribute. Yeah. And um, yeah. You know, I've really fallen in love with the industry, just being in, you know, yeah. for a year and a half and being on job sites and seeing the process. Yeah. Like it really is. A, um, I think it's a hidden gem. And, and I think uh, a lot more people are going to start as this evolution happens. And so it's just exciting yeah. to be a part of, um, back mm -hmm. to the content really quick yeah like i said the first one of the first things i came across was a video uh, where you were acting and 
do you have like some sort of acting background or like have you done some, like i was like is this guy like a comedy writer or something like he's just sort of like a natural <laughs> it just kind of that's natural like skill set that that's like the best compliment i've ever gotten <laughs> i'm serious man it's it's hilarious like the stuff is good <laughs> thank you um no, no just like i mean stupid videos and skits and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. no I, saw, I watched a couple of youtube videos too and it, i think it was like a day in the office alone or something it, it's great stuff actually it's like it, it seems so silly but i feel like it is that type of stuff that is what sets you apart when somebody comes across mm -hmm. it um do you guys with your branding and everything has that been i know you mentioned you have a social media manager is that mm -hmm. like the only mm -hmm. thing you have in house have you done your logo and your brand all the, the branding assets like um is that just something you have some creative skill sets with and know how to use a camera or like how much of that is yeah happening? yeah so i mean we have a photographer that takes pictures of like the jobs and stuff mm -hmm. mandy and she's awesome and that it's amazing the difference when you have professional photographers oh my gosh yeah <laughs> yeah it's totally worth it everyone should do it yeah it makes your work look so much better you know um so that's huge um yeah kelly does all our social media and we've yeah everything else has been done in-house i mean for the most part um uh yeah i we just i mean i like that kind of stuff um it turns out um mm -hmm. so yeah we do most of it in, yeah most of it's been in-house which is fun yeah and it's um it's something too where it's more fun to do and it's you know it's, it's a lot more fun than doing the typical old like sales commercial or something yeah. you know do you guys <laughs> right. do you guys utilize any of the traditional media or do you try to kind of do mostly organic social media content and online it's, it's only been or yeah yeah it's only been the organic and social media we did do uh we did shoot a commercial with like the, you know one of the tv stations here to do mm -hmm. um but what i wanted and they were, we were just on very different pages and it turned out yeah uh, to be just yeah it wasn't what we had in mind yeah so it didn't work so we, yeah we've just done our own thing um yeah i uh i don't i don't like to be too serious you know? yeah <laughs> i mean it, there like there's some serious videos like in my head that i would like to do but at some point but yeah. it's just more fun to do yeah i mean or just stupid you know and it in some ways it's easier because if you know something serious, it better be freaking good, you know. Right. <laughs> if it's if it's funny, yeah. it can be like stupid. So yeah, that's also like budget friendly, I guess. Right. And, um. Um. Yeah. But then your social, like your story, the stories I see are super polished, and like the before and afters are great. Like mm, your yeah. social media manager, she is killing it. Yeah, she kills it. Yeah, she does awesome. Like, a phenomenal job. Um. Yeah, and that's huge because. I mean, you know how much social media changes, like even within the same platform, like Instagram, all the new things that they add. And then not only that, the new features and stuff, and then the new types of like content you need to create for the types of features. But then yeah. they're always changing their like algorithms and how they calculate things. And it's just, it's so much like, it. oh my gosh. Like yeah, it is. It's, it's awful. So if, if Kelly was not here, like our social media would be, be boring. I mean, it, there's no way I would keep up with it. Having someone do that, yeah, it seems like it's totally worth it. Yeah. Like if you're if you're gonna have a if you want to have a strong social media, like you need to have someone dedicated to it. Yeah. It seems like the only way because otherwise yep. you're just it's insane. Yeah. It's so yep. annoying. But it's like the evil game we got to play. Exactly. exactly. It's the great way to put it. The great way to put it. But, you know, at the same time, it opens up a lot of opportunity. Well, it does, yeah. With the, you know, connect with the yeah. younger generation, especially. Um, yeah. And are you, like, you guys are working in Omaha, right? Locally? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primarily? Yeah. Do you, mm -hmm. Are you doing anything outside of Omaha? Or? No. I mean, we have a location in Maryland uh, that my dad and brothers run. Um that we started after this um uh but just these two spots yeah um, yeah i mean we get 
people ask like for like designs and stuff from all over but we don't do yeah. that yet we yeah. can't yeah yeah um, so um, we're just here yeah well that's now. great and yeah i just encourage you i want to see more of those one man acting <laughs> i think it's great yeah. Um, I know those are fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, looking forward. You mentioned your yeah. other location. What's the, you know, for you guys? I guess just from a, a growth standpoint. I mean, it sounds like yeah. you're trying to grow your, your culture and the way you do business. Um, do you have aspirations to grow the company, expand the company, or is it? Are you just super content with? Sort of how things are now what's that look like for you guys five ten years down the road do you think yeah 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 obviously i don't know i mean obviously 2020 reminded us all that we can't predict the future but uh yeah i mean we do uh it does seem like like we there's a lot we want to do here in omaha and a lot of things we need to iron out and work out um a long way to go which is all right but um yeah, we do think that we could, you know, put this in other markets and things like that, um, which would be cool. Because if we can, if we can do what we're setting out to do here, and make this just like a bomb ass place to work for everybody, and just deliver consistently to the clients, and be a just a presence of good for the community, like then we should do that everywhere. To help out everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah theoretically but, yeah yep. uh yeah i mean but who knows um or maybe it's um you know helping with other helping other companies in our industry with you know branding or processes or you know things like okay. that um yeah i mean there's just so much improvement that needs to happen in the home improvement industry you know we can <laughs> there's so much we can be doing so much better mm -hmm. um and uh, I think we'll, we're going to get there, you know, companies like you and uh, there's obviously plenty more around the, the country. And it's cool to see everybody on Instagram and things, what they're, they're doing and how they're doing things. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we're yeah. The, the game is being elevated, which is good for everybody. Yeah. Um, uh, and also in the home building industry, which you guys do, right? Yep. Yeah. We're yeah. remodel and custom homes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, even in that industry, that's that's so ripe for innovation and mm -hmm. new, and we need it. Um, yeah. I mean, we see it in Vermont. Like, we go into these homes all the time. We're like, God, I hate the way yeah. we build homes. It's stupid, you know? <laughs> and we're still building them that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's, there's just so much room, which is exciting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It really is. Exciting industry to be, be a part of. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, you know, I think it's it's a it's exciting. It's overwhelming all at the same time. It's like <laughs> yeah, daunting because no, there sure. is so much, you know, it seems like yeah. there's so much possibility. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're, yeah. yeah, we're opening this new, I mentioned this new showroom. Uh, yeah. That's really our main initiative right now. That was kind of this uh, tie. Our owner is, he's one of the sons. Um, he, uh, you know, he's kind of, it's kind of been his baby is, um, you know, we've been this construction company, um, for 25 years remodeling building new homes um but we did bring a couple of designers on in the last few years and started getting mm -hmm. into the design game more um yeah, yeah, and then yeah. it was like well let's do a showroom you know so we can really make this like start to finish and right. you know bring people through our, our kitchen and bath showroom and yeah. just create like this all under one roof process and mm -hmm. you know we're bringing in you know we've got a drywall team now we've got concrete mm -hmm. you know framing um you know we're trying to say that possible the possibilities of that is just like and right. you know so it's really right. really cool and exciting and um you know awesome to be a part of so uh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh really quick before we uh wrap up here it's been great to connect yeah. and uh you know look forward to even connecting again maybe down the road but yeah. what do you want to just give me plugs for like your website and your social media handles and it's where people can find you sure uh i think it's all just bearded builders so like at bearded builders or beardedbuilders.com uh i think that's it cool yeah yeah you can find us if you awesome. google bearded, bearded builders you'll find us. yeah yeah definitely and people yeah. 
check out Bearded Builders on all their platforms. Uh, yeah. Instagram a great account, great follow. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of Thank a lot you. of stuff out there nowadays, but you you are a good follow and and bring Thanks, appreciate some that, valuable, man. inspiring content. So, um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it, Eric. It's been great to chat. And yeah, thanks, uh, Max. Yeah. Hopefully, I'd have you on here again. We'll be watching watching you guys online and seeing what yeah, the future Thank holds, you. So. Yeah, and I love what you're doing. Keep uh, keep going. Keep pushing the industry. You know, making connections and magic happens. You know, thank you. We'll all be a part of it. So, thank you very much. Appreciate it.